Is this gonna be the straw that finally makes Michael leave Angela alone? This week's episode titled Stand By Me was a roller coaster. It had a lot of ups and downs, mostly downs. It seems like none of these couples can ever just get along and be happy. From Jenny and Sumit's dance class fiasco to wanting him to come to America without actually consulting him, it's gonna be a disaster. And then there's Kim, who sadly lost her mom. And almost immediately after, Usman's talking to her about adopting his brother's child. Weird. Tweet number one. Sumit's got Jenny out here on the dance floor looking like Weekend at Bernie's. Come on, admit it. You laughed, I laughed too. But let's be real. Jenny's 63 years old. And for a 63 year old woman, she can shake it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is not the hot take that everybody's looking for, but I've been rooting for Jenny and Sumit from the first season of 90 Day Fiance the other way, and I really hope that they make it. I want them both to be happy. Tweet number two, this is what Big Ed's brother looks like? Let's face it, that was a big surprise. Big Ed's brother is pretty handsome. However, We've all seen those throwback pictures of Big Ed as a younger man, and he was pretty good looking. So, I mean, I guess it's in the family that they just have some good looking genes, and Big Ed's brother got most of them. That's all. Tweet number three. And this isn't a snarky or a mean tweet, and honestly, it's not even funny at all. But we couldn't go through the top five tweets from this week without stopping to mention the death of Kim's mother. Kim, if you're watching this, my condolences truly. I hope you're in a better place right now. Tweet number four, Andre, every episode. And then it has a picture of the Hulk. And yes, Andre has a temper and he's loud and he says exactly what's on his mind. But I do feel like we should cut the guy some slack. After all, he's dealing with Libby's family and Libby's family is pretty throwed off. Can you imagine having to deal with them on a regular basis? I know I'd probably do a little screaming too. And last but not least is tweet number five which brings up the fact that Angela Deem will not let Michael have an Instagram account so that he can make money on social media, but she can befriend and have a crush on a whole guy on TikTok and now she wants to go visit him in Canada. Double standard much? A little bit of hypocrisy, Angela? I mean, come on now. Michael made it really clear that he was insecure about this whole going to Canada thing. And Angela made it pretty clear that she's gonna do what she wants anyway, as usual. Is this gonna be the straw that finally makes Michael leave Angela alone? I mean, after all, she smashed a cake in his face and she destroyed his car and he stuck around. How much more is he willing to put up with and how bad does he wanna to get to the US? I guess we'll have to wait and see. That's it for the top five tweets for 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After for the episode Stand By Me by Monsters and Critics. I'm Shawnee Flowers, reality TV editor. You can follow me on Twitter at Shawnee Says. Also, while you're here, please make sure to hit that follow button and like this video. Come back next week to see more of our favorite 90 Day Fiance tweets. Have a good one, guys. Bye.